Hey folks, happy Tuesday. It's 1225, mostly cloudy skies across the valley, a bit windy and humid for the rest of the day. So if you have plans, make sure uh, to prepare accordingly. We won't be seeing much rain today, mostly dry. Now, as this cold, front, this cold front continues to push south, it will be creating rain chances for us on Wednesday night. Even some thunderstorms could be possible. This same exact cold front will be also causing some severe weather over central Texas. As we can see, there is a marginal and a slight chance for Texas. We zoom in a little closer to home and we can see that that marginal chance uh, is over part of our valley so we could like I mentioned see some thunderstorms developing over our area on Wednesday night possibly those rains still uh, possible on Thursday morning. Now that most of that rain, like I mentioned, will be concentrating over the center part of Texas. The heavy rains and storms, like I mentioned, will continue to move closer to the Dallas area. So for today, what are we expecting? Windy and humid conditions. Those wind gusts reaching from 30 to 35 miles per hour, mostly cloudy. And then on Wednesday, partly sunny, a shower or storm could be developing mostly throughout the evening or the night. So if, for those of you who work overnight, make sure to prepare. We could see that rain chance coming back. So for today, may mainly dry across the valley. We did see some slight showers move across our area and we are expecting for that rain chance to continue to increase into a 50% on Wednesday. Showers and storms could be possible mostly throughout the night then a 20% rain chance on Thursday. So taking a look at what current temperatures are looking like across the valley, we move over to Rio Grande City where temperatures are reaching 80 degrees and we continue to move a little more east where in Hidalgo County temperatures are rising a little bit more. And of course, in South Padre Island, uh, we are seeing cooler conditions at 77 degrees. Across Texas, if you have plans to travel across our state for today, we could already see that boundary of where those temperatures are pretty different due to that frontal system. Of course, to the north, we are seeing drier and cooler conditions. And to the south, we are still seeing some of that humidity coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. So highs for today, we will be reaching around 88 degrees for highs around Rio Grande City. The windy conditions will persist 88 also for McAllen, 87 in Edinburgh and 79 for South Padre Island. So for those of you who have plans for any outdoor activities, keep in mind that those rain chances are pretty, pretty low for today and we are expecting for those humid conditions to continue but those winds are pretty high as we can see at the moment 22 miles per hour present in Raymondville, Harlingen, 18 in Port Isabel and 18 in McAllen so it's a windy day across the valley. Now for those of you headed out to the coast we are seeing uh, winds still coming in from the southeast from 15 to 20 knots choppy bay waters with bay temperatures at 76 degrees. We do advise for those of you um, driving any small crafts to use caution we are still seeing some moderate rip currents. Our next low tide occurring at 12:30 a.m. and our seas from 4 to 7 feet. Off. So for highs for today, like I mentioned, 86 degrees. Then we drop back into the 70s for tonight. For the next couple of days, this is what we are expecting. That range in the 80s will continue on Wednesday. Then we continue to see that temperature increase on Thursday. Remember those thunderstorms present on Wednesday night, a slight chance for thunderstorms, some scattered activity, most of that concentrating over Star County and to the east of Hidalgo County. And we continue to see that pattern in the 80s and the 90s throughout the next couple of days. That was a look at your first warm five AccuWeather forecast.